I wanted to I wanted to do our our our, our Belmont joke, but you you don't even remember. Oh, it was writing a Belmont it. joke. Yeah, I, yeah. I, you, you said camera. I didn't understand what you're talking about. That's all right. Oh, is that, that that was part of the joke. Yeah. You, you you have it written down, right? I have I have the bullet points. Um. Okay, so so why, why don't you set this up, or should I set it up? Okay, so we 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 have this friend. She's a director, Sophia. Shmukamuka Muka. It's a Swedish name. It's not Shmukamuka Muka, but yeah. She it, like, like I I should get you should have her last name because she a long time ago I tweeted a music video that she did right over here in this space. She does stop motion uh, stuff. She she's done a she's done a couple music videos at Starburns now. Uh, very very talented director. She's from Sweden. She's here on some kind of visa or whatever. Um, and uh, maybe if you're a fan of Cody's Instagram, you've seen her teaching Cody how to say uh, various filthy things in Swedish. Um, what, uh, what, what I do have, Dan, is the uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia, like Bellman joke. Right. So we were so talking we, we about jokes. That like yeah. she so somehow it came up. She said, "There's this tradition in Sweden. It's called the Bellman joke." So is Bellman like where, is like kind of the the all-purpose character in a like he's the butt of the joke, but he's also kind of the hero of the joke in his own naivete stupidity. We found ourselves culturally fascinated with it because. We're Americans, so we have Polak jokes, we have blonde jokes, we have all kinds of horrible jokes I can't even mention by category. But, like, we don't have, like, American jokes where we're cast as either the wise guy in a ship of fools or the... There's some jokes where it's like you're trying to pump yourself up like a redneck and a and a, and a, and a Yankee go into a yeah. place and the redneck just does this and he's a simple working man I mean, the, and you're the, the like, first, yay. The first paragraph in the Wikipedia for Bellman joke is the Bellman joke is a type of simple joke popular among Swedish school children always including a person, person named Bellman as the main character. And very often... Do they have an example in there? Yeah. They do. Very often, it's like... It's, you know how when in America, when you're a kid, you learn these jokes are like a, a black guy, a Chinese guy, and a Polish guy go into a popcorn store or whatever, and right. the Polish guy ends up doing something stupid, and um, or maybe it's the black guy that does something that's uh, more pragmatic right. or... But, but in this case, it's there's two cultures and... Belmont, right? Who is a person, and he he stands apart. He's either the villain or the hero, depending on your point of view. He's kind of the yeah. He's it's like I think it's like a, a manifestation of Sweden as a they're they're like well. What are we going to do? We don't. We probably don't have that big of an army. Um, you know, like I don't. It's a national psyche thing. It's like they'll go, oh, there's this guy, there's that guy, and then there's Belmont. Belmont is the Swedish guy. He's just a regular Joe. So Dan, um, a Dane, a Norwegian. And Bellman made a wager on who could remain inside a goat pen the longest. Right. Okay. Classic Bellman. Okay. This is just this is your run of the mill Bellman joke. Yeah. First out was the Dane, who came out just after ten minutes yelling, "Damn, that goat stinks!" After him, the Norwegian went in. After a half an hour, he came out yelling, "Damn." That goat stinks. Finally, Belman went in. After two hours, the goat came rushing out saying, Damn, that Belman stinks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, can I rewrite yeah, that real quick? Yeah, just say yeah, the goat. Yeah, after 10 minutes, the go, or ten, whatever it is, just say, the, they should just say the goat came out. They don't have to say, he doesn't have to say, Damn, that Belmont stinks. Okay, well, Dan, maybe you haven't heard this one. A Russian, <laughs> a Russian, a German, and Belman. <laughs> wanted to see who could swim the fastest across the Atlantic Ocean. First out was the German. You know, of course. He swam one kilometer and drowned. Next came the Russian. The, mm. He swam 10 kilometers. He drowned. Now it was oh, Belmont's turn. He swam and swam until he almost reached America. Then he got tired and swam back. See, now that's a hero. Yeah. Right. It's like sometimes Belmont, he's like, it's like a weird fusion of like, like in America, we're just like, someone has to be being shit on or whatever. But, but right. it's, it's, it's interesting to me that it's like, so, so, so we were like, oh, what an interesting joke format. What an interesting Yeah, because thing. He's, 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 it's not a Pollock joke. It's right. not a N-bomb joke. It's not a racist and joke. And it's also not like a jingoistic, like, like a fucking Swedes do it the best I joke. I got two it's, questions. Uh, is Belmont a first or a last name? I think I would say first. 
first, I guess. And is it supposed to be a reference to their race or like ethnic? Like, is it supposed to be that's us? Because they, probably... they put it in context with other people from countries. So yeah, it's well, like... I think that's the joke. Spencer, as far as Wikipedia is concerned, the, the jokes first became popular in the 19th century and were originally inspired by the life of the poet and composer Carl Michael Bellman. The first known Belmont joke survived in a book from 1835. So like, like, it goes back that far. So that's almost like just like having Mr. Bean be a character in a joke. Yeah, right? the way, that's how we interpreted it is that it's sort of like Fred Flintstone or, or like if his name was Kowalski right. or something. We, we, it's a, it's a, we, we, we don't have a national identity like that. <laughs> like we don't he's have like, like a but jo- Joe Blow. Like he's so like. outside of having an identity, though, in these jokes because like, he's the third person to be set up and he's the only one who's racism yeah, called uh, out. Uh, uh, he, he's not a race. He's kind of a disembodied It's character. a neutral country. Wait, that's Switzerland. I, 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 I like, it, it, isn't it like a, it is, but isn't it sort of like they're, <laughs> it, you know, you're Swedish and you, you, I think that's part of it though, as you'll I see in the be. Belmont joke that we wrote. Oh, shit. Thank you. We took a half hour and we wrote well, no, a Belmont let's, joke. Let's be honest. It took us nearly an hour, 45 minutes. Okay. I'm going to see if I can least. come up with a Belmont joke. All right. Well, oh, Spencer, can you riff a Belmont? Like, do you already think that you have a handle on that premise? So no, well I'll, I'll need a half hour to nearly an hour, I think. Okay, okay. Well, it should take me about that time to tell ours because <laughs> I'm not that good at telling jokes. But I wrote down the bullet points. Jeff and I took like an hour. Uh, so we wanted to see, could we make... Our friend Sophia, the Swede, yeah. laugh with laugh a Belmont joke. With a proper Swedish Belmont joke. So here's what, here's what we did. And t- take it or leave it. But I, I think, you I know, think we I fucking think, nailed I it. Think we fucking did it. I'm really proud we, of it. And she laughed. So She I mean, laughed. She, this was her reaction. We told it. We t- I got to the punchline and she went, thank you. <laughs> Is that like like she kind of like she went over a, like a pothole? Um, she couldn't believe that we updated and contemporized fucking Belmont jokes. Okay, so you know my history with telling jokes, but this is and so this is like an evil Knievel now, now, feat yeah, here. Now this is where we might run into trouble. You have it written down. Though. I do. I have my bullet points. Okay, bullet points. You, you don't have it written down. I have it bullet points. Okay, so a good joke is somewhat rift. Well, I. <laughs> Is that is okay? That all right, all right, guys. You know, come on, give me a. I, like, 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 I feel like a real Belmont right now. <laughs> well, then you're the. Or, I'm going to prove myself to be a Belmont because I'm going to come through in the end, <laughs> in, a, in a weird way. All right, just like, here's our Belmont joke. Here it is. Right. Jeff, and, Jeff and I wrote this at the drawing room. It took us forty five forty five minutes. <clears throat> it's the year two thousand nineteen <laughs> A.D. Earth has made first contact with an alien species. The message from this mysterious alien species is we are here to destroy you if you are not worthy. Send three emissaries from your species. Each can bring one item. A lottery is held. The emissaries are chosen. A Dutch astronaut, a German astronaut, and Belmont. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> the astronauts are placed into the prescribed craft. It is sent up to the mothership orbiting the Earth. The airlock opens. The omnipotent, <laughs> ominous aliens send their emissary into the vestibule of the ship. <laughs> Our astronauts enter with their items. What have you brought? Says the alien. The Dutch astronaut steps forward. I have brought this model of a windmill. The Dutch were the first to harness the natural resources of the Earth. And although our species currently lives in conflict with our planet, this is evidence that our people have it in them as early as the dawn of civilization to live in harmony with Mother Gaia. The, what, have, what have you brought? <laughs> the German astronaut pulls out a pistol, says, this is a German Luger pistol. It is the peak of German uh, uh, engineering. Yes, it is war-based, but your species... 
did say you are here to destroy us if we didn't prove ourselves. This is evidence that we have it in us to follow perfect order and have perfect hierarchy and that the result can be this, this perfect piece of engineering that has literally never misfired a shot, the German Luger. And what of you? Bellman pulls out a, a, a camera, says, I brought a Hasselblad camera. It's a, it's a Swedish camera. Uh, it's uh, state of the art. Why? Because nobody's going to believe this shit. <laughs> yeah. That's a good Bellman joke. We Ladies and gentlemen, Belmont. Belmont. <laughs> That's then, a good Belmont joke. And then, and then I think the rest of it, as you can imagine, I think the aliens like I like this guy, yeah. Planet Belmont. Or, or or do they do they kill? Uh, who do they do they? Have to he, I don't know. I mean, my what, favorite part what, of the joke is the Dana Ma. <laughs> what happens after the Polish guy eats all of the pea-soaked popcorn uh, 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 instead of having sex with the farmer's daughter? I mean, certainly. Uh, a stomach ache. Do, yeah, but like, let's say you put yourself in the in the pants. If aliens wear pants, which one do you pick? Do you pick the the aliens the, said the, we're the, here the to nice engin- the, the the peaceful engineering of the Dutch, the warlike engineering of the Germans, or the ironic? I get the joke, Belmont. They weren't here to pick. They wanted to see if we had uh, if our civilization had generated a Belmont. Right. You oh, know, well. I, I, th- I think when you're when you're plan- when your species gets to the point where it's capable of Belmont uh, production, um, you're like, okay, you're you're all right. And probably another alien comes out and goes, I'm, I'm the alien equivalent of Belmont. Like long ago, people didn't understand uh, 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 goofy horse sense. Spencer, do you think you're ready for your Belmont joke, or do you need some time? I just want to say that I think that you really did what a scripted joke could not have accomplished by going off book and using those that outline. So, thank you. I was you elevated the material. Yeah, and I and I I don't think you're being sarcastic. I'm not, but I could be. Yeah, but I choose to believe that you're not. Well, yeah, I think the tension there is maybe Spencer. Yeah. Uh, y- y- your black outfit is blending into the background, and you look like a disembodied ghost person. That's what I've always wished I would be. Did I tell you guys that I imagine my head like running around, like like it like hops off my body and like runs around on little beard feet, you know, like uh, <laughs> like this? Did and you then, have did, did you have a Belmont joke? Uh, I, I came up with one. I'm not proud of it, but, you know, that was the task. So. If, you, if you come up with one that quickly, you don't have to be proud of it. You can be proud that you came up with a Belmont joke that quickly. Okay. Like, lay it on. Well, then I am. All right. All right. So, an elf, a dwarf, and Belmont are outside of a dungeon. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. sorry. I, I became hysterical. You, they're outside of what? A dungeon. <laughs> okay. And uh, the elf goes, like, I'm going to get that treasure, and goes in there, and then five minutes later comes back out, and he's like, Jesus Christ, there's no trees. It's claustrophobic in there. I can't hack it. And the dwarf's like, ha, ha, fucking elves. And then the dwarf goes in there, and then he comes out. He's all scratched up and bloody, and he's like, this place is full of orcs, man. I'm not going back. There's no way the treasure's worth that. And then Belmont's like, I got this, you guys. And then he comes back, like, two hours later, and he's just fine. And everyone's like, what? What what happened? He's like, you guys were totally right, man. There was like, the place was terrible. There was like just a bunch of dusty coins and stuff. You see? Because he got the treasure, but he didn't care for it. Right. Oh, he didn't care. He didn't he's like a, the treasure. Because the Belmont has a different uh, standard. Right. right. Yeah. That's, that's fucking great, Spencer. No, it's not great. It's It certainly it passes the test of being a, a Belmont joke on some level, I think. <laughs> right. It's not great. One tweak would be, I think, if you if if each of them were spe- specified as coming out empty-handed. So that right. when Belmont comes out empty-handed, and then he's like, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, well, I stuck to the script, and that was my flaw. <laughs> 